Hey there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X7. Last time we took out Soldier Stone Kong, and now we're gonna keep going and take on another Maverick boss. It's gonna be a bit formulaic for the next several episodes, because it's one of the more formulaic games in the series, but oh well. Formulaic isn't always bad. Oh, I do love this music track. Like I said, my friends in Red Alert are all really skilled Reploids. Ah, uh, except I heard they were mostly criminals. No, no! They don't do anything bad. Well, at least most of the time. What's your point? I'm serious. They really didn't do bad. Until suddenly, suddenly everyone changed. Suddenly? What do you mean? When the Maverick Hunters, even the Reploids, stopped following Red's orders! Well, that's interesting. I guess we'll be following that up later. Let's uh, go to our next stage, which is going to be the Radio Tower. Where we were facing off against, uh... This guy. Mario Tanya! No, your eyes are not deceiving you. That is, in fact, a giant robot onion. Go Japan. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, this is not my favorite stage in the game, to be honest. Be careful. We're getting strong energy readings. You're very close. You should be able to see it. I'll look for the giant me mechanoloid's weak point. You find a good approach point. Now, for some reason, in my practice session, which I did before I started actually recording, I had a lot of trouble on this stage. I really had a lot of trouble rescuing the uh, hostages. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe I was just doing really badly. Uh, also, you maybe notice I'm actually giving zero some time a day in this stage, a bit more than usual. That's because actually, zero is actually pretty useful in this particular stage. If only because there's a lot of platforming in this stage, and, uh, especially in the second half. And, uh, Zero is quite useful for that, so... And now, this weird crab thing with this big spirally shell. It's an interesting design. It very much looks... kind of gives me, like, Devonian, Cambrian-esque vibes. Like, some sort of early crustacean with a big shell like that. You know, like, kind of like an orthocone. I know orthocones aren't crustaceans. How did that not kill her? I'm not complaining, but just how did that not kill her? That fireball totally hit her. I don't know. Eh, I guess she just got lucky. But, uh... Orthocones, of course, are not crustaceans. They're cephalopods, but whatever. Analysis complete. His head is his weak point. Concentrate firepower there. I actually don't really know how you're supposed to defeat this boss as zero. Uh, there's probably a method. I just don't know what it is. So, of course, for basically the only time on the stage we're really going to be using him that extensively, we are going to use Axel here. Unfortunately, while this boss is not by no means difficult, he is a little tedious because, uh, like everything in this game, he has some stupid attack that makes it take longer to kill him, which is this. Where he'll retract into his shell, and these three big blades will come out of it, which will require you to jump over them. I'm sure it's possible to jump over them with Axel, but I prefer to just use the more simple approach and just use your out. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, his head is retracted, his uh, extended, but it's over there. And the second I get over to it, his head retracts again. You know, do crabs that have shells like this even have the ability to retract into them like that? I'm now thinking about hermit crabs, and yeah, I think they do, so that was a dumb fucking question. Moving on. But then again, hermit crab shells aren't really their own. They just kind of make shells out of whatever they can find, so... The reason they're called hermit crabs... Okay, please just extend your head in a spot where I can actually hit you. Oh, God damn it. Uh, 
Ah, so tedious. I don't like this. Ugh. All right, come on. Here goes nothing. Ah, there we go. Gotcha. Good riddance. All right, that's that done with. That's actually not the end of the stage. We actually have an entire second section to go through. Ready? Which is all about the platforming. Can you hear me, Axel? Can you hear me, Zero? Head for the top of that tower. We're getting an even stronger reading than the last one. I actually don't know what these particular enemies do. Can you hear me, Zero? Can you... You'll need to use bounding. What a pain. When he stops, his barrier blocks all attacks. As soon as you move, attack. I think you might be able to copy this enemy with Axel, but I don't remember. Also, I need to get over to Lucy, because she's about to get killed. And bats. Because every video game ever needs to have bats. And these bat enemies are actually a pretty recurring enemy in the Mega Man X series. In fact, I'd argue they're the most recurring enemy in the whole series. And I don't like them. I hate these guys. Also, that hostage right there is just a fucking death trap if you're not playing on Rookie Hunter mode because there's a bottomless pit beneath her. I'm actually not sure how you're supposed to get her without dying. Well, on uh, Rookie Hunter mode, you wouldn't die, but still. I don't really know what these enemies would do to make the level easier if you did copy them with Axel, but hey, could be worse. They could be ruins, man. Oh, those three hostages aren't even trying to be in danger. Oh, okay, June there. Well, I gotta kind of save, so that is my first one. Uh, gotta save Keiko, because I do like that name. And what every Mega Man game needs, disappearing blocks. You also can see the heart tank over there. Unfortunately, actually getting it is kind of a pain in the ass because it kind of requires you to take yet another fall. trying to lure these bats into coming over here and attacking me so I don't have to worry about them when I make the jump, but shit. Uh, doesn't really seem to be working. The bats are too smart for me. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, I was just standing on thin air there for a second. And again. Okay, whatever. I got the heart tank. There are the birds that after the shit this level's put them through so far. The stage isn't really that hard, but it's just kind of tedious. Uh, but you could very easily describe a lot of stages in this game as not that hard, but really tedious. don't have anything to uh, get past them in this game. Most other Mega Man games need something to get past the disappearing blocks. As far as I know, there is nothing in this game. Okay, Marianne and Janice. And up here, I believe, is the boss fight. Around and around! Ah, uh, yeah, here he is. <laughs> Welcome to my silly, silly stage! Here goes nothing! Yeah! Why? <laughs> what? No funny? But I tried so hard, so hard! Okay, try again, huh? Around and around! 
Okay, I get the picture. Let's get this over with. Oh! What morning. accent is that? Is that supposed to be German? Okay, whatever. Um, now, this guy has a fairly easy weakness. In fact, look at this. You can literally just stand there for the first half of the battle uh, to take him down. Unfortunately, once he gets to half health, he's no longer susceptible to that strategy because he won't nearly as easily just walk straight into your attack. Around and around. Yeah, unfortunately. Now, his weakness is, uh, like I mentioned last time, the Gaia Shield slash the uh, technique you get from defeating uh, Stone Kong. But actually, defeating him with the Gaia Shield is pretty tricky because it does, like, almost, like, okay, just watch. Just watch when I use the Gaia Shield on him. Did you see how little damage that did? Yeah, uh, that's gonna take forever. Even if I just keep walking into him with it, it's gonna take forever. It's pretty funny to just watch him flail around, though. That, I gotta admit, that is pretty amusing. Oh, fuck it, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stab him. Got this V-Saber for a reason. Fortunately, that doesn't mean you're gonna have to hear his pain noise by a lot. Okay, let's at least try to take him out of this weakness. Nope, on second thought, not doing that. That takes way too long. Just gonna stab him to death. No, I really didn't like it, Tanyan. Sorry. Also, yes, the fact that he is named Tanyan is just a cheap, fat joke. Anyways, from that you get the... pretty much the only boss I'm gonna defeat the Zero, but you get the Raijin Shu technique. This lightning jump, jumping lightning saber attack to strike enemies above you. I said that quote wrong. Oh well. Ten minutes. Probably only because I was going after all the hostages and trying to get that heart tank. Huh, it appears we both equaled out to level A. Anyways, who can rescue? Allison, Berinda, Cindy, Emmy, Holly, June, Keiko, Lucy, Marianne, Janice, Rita, Tracy, Lily, Betty, Kate, and Julia. So we got another all we got another where we got all 16. Which means we'll get both chips. Not potato chips, uh, I assume I mean computer chips. That was a terrible joke, I'm sorry. Uh, and we're gonna give that one to zero, and I guess we'll give this one to Axel. Boost up the power of recovery items. Anyways, with that out of the way, uh, I will see you guys in the next part. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, uh, and I'll see you all. Bye bye